Don Spallinger is chairing a session about the relationship between universities and industry. So how should universities be thinking about this relationship? Universities, particularly those like ourselves that are research intensive, uh, do millions and millions of pounds worth of research every year. But in doing that research, it's not only to come up with new findings uh, for knowledge, but also the researchers want to make sure that the impact that comes about from that research does benefit society as a whole. And so constantly we're looking to tie our, our research and our activities here at the university with industry and with the society in general to make sure that we get the maximum amount of impact out of the money that we spend on research every year. So how would you characterize the benefits of this collaboration? The benefits are not only to the students, because again, a big part of the university's responsibility is to educate the students. And as a research intensive university, we're trying to get the best education for the students so that they can come out of their education here at the University of Southampton, knowing what it's like in the real world and how to take that forward. It's also to have industry who is going to hire these students that are coming out from the university, but also the research activities and the interactions that they have with us to be able to take those uh, findings and put them into their needs for commercializing products and services going forward. So how do you think it will look like when, when this collaboration is more optimal? As it gets more and more optimal, what you'll see is a much closer relationship between the industrial and commercial and societal needs for improvements of uh, existing, in the case of uh, health and pharmaceutical type thing, health devices or pharmaceuticals which, uh, which improve our uh, health capabilities and longevity of life. Uh, but this will be tied back to the work that we're doing on basic research and what we call blue sky research in that we're pointing that at things which we think we may not know and we probably will not know as we start to research exactly what will come out of it, but we'll know that what we're trying to do will come forth to potentially bring uh, benefits to uh, new drugs or new devices. Okay, so how are we going to get there? What needs to be done? Well, this is one of the real critical elements that we've got. One of the things that we've done here at Southampton over the last couple of years is to set up uh, university uh, industrial sector teams. These are groups of people across the entire university that are working uh, towards uh, the betterment of particular industrial sectors. And we then tie those academics and those researchers and the students that they are educating with the industry and the companies involved in those industries uh, to make sure that we couple them as closely as we possibly can. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.